For number 11, again, we're going to start off just like we always do. Period is 2 pi over b. b in this case is 1 third. So the period is 6 pi. Because 2 pi divided by 1 third is the same as 2 pi times 3. So 6 pi. And we're going to go ahead and, and mark that off. Cutting that in half, we get 3 pi. Cutting that in half, we get 3 pi over 2. So we have 3 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, 12 pi over 2. So we've got our x-axis or theta axis marked off properly. We know that the amplitude is 3. Uh, let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, because I know I'm going to have to move up 1. 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, and I'll just mark that. Okay. So we're going to graph this function as if there's no horizontal or vertical shift. That's the first thing we're going to do. And to do that, we just have to mark off. We're going to start at 3. We're going to put the five key points on there. Uh, we start high, go to the middle, and down to negative 3, up back to the middle, and then back up to positive 3. So here's our rough draft. So rough draft. So that's not bad. And then we know we have to do the phase shift. And the phase shift we get, PS, the phase shift is the C over B. Now, C in this case is pi over 2 divided by the B, which is 1 third. So the phase shift is pi over 2 times 3 over 1, which is 3 pi over 2. So the phase shift is 3 pi over 2, which is nice because we already have our, our number line marked in 3 pi over 2s. So we just have to put one more 3 pi over 2 because we're going to move it to the right because of the minus sign. And so therefore, all we have to do is again mark one more 3 pi over 2. So we have 3 pi over 2. And if, you, if this is confusing, you could think of it as 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pi over 2. So you can count by pi over 2s if you want. And anyway, now that we have that, we just move each of these dots, each of these key points, 3 pi over 2 radians to the right. So that gets moved to the right. The one on there gets uh, 1, 2, 3 pi over 2 to the right. This guy gets moved over to the right. Everything gets moved over to the right, 3 pi over 2 radians. And then we connect the dots. Oh, shoot. I forgot something. Darn it. So that's a rough draft right there. And I uh, forgot that we have to move up one. So I meant to go three pi over two to the right and then one up. So now it's just that the, the purple graph is my second rough draft. And the, uh, the green one is going to be my final, final product. And that co the coordinates of that point right there are 9 pi over 2, comma, negative 2. Because it was 9 pi over 2, comma, negative 3, it's hard to tell. But I meant for those v values to be 3, three units below the, uh, the x or the theta axis. So uh, we are just going to go ahead and draw the graph. didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. So there you go. So the green graph is the final product. And again, it extends beyond, but we're only needing to draw one, uh, one period. 